Hello. I've been wanting to make a video on this for a little while, however, I just didn't really know what to say. I didn't know if I should script it. I didn't know if I should just speak from the heart. I didn't know if people would receive it very well because I am a white female. I have a lot of white privilege and I recognise that. The last few days has really brought a lot to my attention. Not that I wasn't ever aware of racism, but of course, of course, I have never experienced it and I can't imagine the fear and terror that people go through on a daily basis just based off of something that they can't change, something that they were born with. I can't imagine ever being discriminated against because of something that fundamentally you cannot change, a physical feature about yourself, a colour of your skin. I can't ever imagine the fear that rushes through a black person's body when they're being pulled, off, pulled over in their cars or stopped and questioned about a petty crime and it leads to their death and I can't imagine the fear and just the pure the pure sadness of what they have to go through all the time I can't imagine living in a world where people would judge me by something that I cannot change and something that I did not choose and something that shouldn't be wrong how the hell is a colour making you a bad person how the hell can a colour determine the type of person you are or the type of treatment you should receive. We should all be treated as equals and <laughs> the people saying all lives matter, honestly I don't know what's wrong with you. The amount of people I've seen doing that, you are the equivalent of people coming to pride and saying that we want straight pride. Why would you want, <sighs> why would you need to fight for something that you already have? Is your white privilege so high? Are you so oblivious to it that you can't even see the mistreatment of others? Can you not see that you're being treated differently and on a higher pedestal because of your skin colour? None of us choose to be black or white when we are born. None of us choose the circumstances in which we're raised. None of us choose our ethnicity and why should it determine the type of person you are. It makes no sense to me and it never will. And I don't want to seem as if I'm jumping on a bandwagon or anything because I just don't see people for their colour or their tattoos or their sexuality or their weight. People are people and I mean that genuinely in all my heart. Maybe when I was younger I might have been a bit judgmental between about certain groups. I was never racist, don't get me wrong, but I might have had certain like internalised homophobia and stuff like this but you know everybody I always just assumed everyone saw people as people but that is not the case and of course I've never seen it properly firsthand because I am not black and I can't even begin to imagine how it feels for them to see videos of human beings being murdered on camera and displayed just another youtuber said that and this didn't even occur to me white people being killed on the news and it repeating and repeating and they're showing the footage you'll never have to watch something like that and why is it any different watching a black person be killed on camera why is it any less traumatizing to watch they're still a person, they are still dying on camera, you are still watching a human being lose their life. And oh, it's small things like that that I don't even see because I'm in a privileged position and I will never know what it feels like. And so I don't care if people think I'm coming across the wrong way or think I'm jumping on a bandwagon because I am not. I think the more people that speak out and try to make a difference even if you can't go to if you can't go to protests or whatever because you've got high risk family members or something and you don't want to risk their lives or you don't have the money to get there or anything any reason you can't you can do more than just posting a black box on Instagram don't get me wrong I understand the point behind it but I think we need to do more than just that I think we need to keep this going it can't just be a trend and then fade away. People can't just care for like a couple of weeks and then it just goes away and people lose their passion 
and then we just go back to normal and it's still happening behind closed doors and we'll just go back to our privileged ways and not really seeing these things or paying attention to it or it's not being covered in the media because of course they won't cover it in the media once all of this is over they'll try and cover it up and we can't let headlines turn protests peaceful protests I'm talking about into oh this is causing more COVID-19 cases oh this is the reason we've got a second wave <laughs> there are more important things and that might be a con controversial opinion but stop thinking these people are risking our lives by going out and peacefully protesting for a cause and start thinking why are people risking their lives in a pandemic where we've been so scared we've been stuck in our houses for months out of work businesses shut down people losing jobs why do people feel the need to risk themselves like this and you know why because it's such a high cause that people don't care anymore they're fed up and they're fighting for what's right and they're putting their lives on the line and I respect that, I really do. I'm going to leave a few links down below of ways that you can help even if you can't go to protests for whatever reason because of work or whatever because you need to be quarantined which is okay you still have your right to quarantine and stick by that. There are other things you can do. Um, spread the word on social media, don't stop posting about it, don't let this just blow over and become another thing that just happened and we forgot about. Don't let this just be a trend because whilst it's good that it's a trend in a way because it's getting the message out there and we are using the privilege that we haven't earned but for some reason have to spread the message, we also have the power to keep it going and to keep and change history. This has been going on for years and years and years. We have the power to change history because unfortunately Racism does exist and for some reason people don't see black people as human beings and I don't get that, I will never understand. Like living, breathing human being, a person with feelings, a family, a life, a career, goals, ambitions. I, sh I just don't, I don't get it. So I'm going to leave loads of things that you can do down below. Um, petitions you can sign even if you don't have money right now. Signing petitions, getting the word out, sharing things just small things can help just keep the message alive because it will get forgotten about and I don't want to see that you know with a lot of tragic things in this world they get forgotten about and it's terrible and there will be more cases after George Floyd there will be and there have been and we just don't hear about it because they try and cover it up and not every case is filmed and not every crime is caught on camera and to see how much it has taken to get those officers charged with his death it's unbelievable it was murder it was on camera and it still took all of this rioting and peaceful protests and non-peaceful protests and stuff online it took so much celebrities media it took everything for them to arrest them but it was a murder if that was a white person first of all the murder would never would have happened and second of all you wouldn't have needed an uproar because it would have just been sorted on its own. They would have just charged them with murder immediately. Anyway, to the point, I'm going to leave links to things you can do. Um, I'm going to try and educate myself some more because I am white. And so, of course, I can never understand the pain of it. I can never get it. So I want to educate myself and I want to help. I want to do something to help we all can contribute and you want to be on the right side of history and this is the right side of history standing up for black lives matter because <laughs> that shouldn't even be like a statement that is controversial that should just be it should be a given like what black lives matter duh like i don't understand how that's like a controversial thing to say how is it i'm gonna stop ranting now i hope i didn't say anything to offend or anything wrong I just wanted to say something because I wasn't going to, not out of fear or anything like that, I, I just, I don't know, I didn't know what to put into words or what I could actually put out there, I know I don't have a big channel, but even small channels can talk about this. I haven't seen many YouTubers talking about this, I've seen a few but not many, and it makes me so sad that they're not using their platforms to talk about this. I understand the fear of, oh I'm white and I'm going to get hate and 
I'm gonna get judged because I don't understand and people think I'm using it for clout but it's like wouldn't you rather people think that stuff about you and make a difference and get the word out there to all of your audience than to hide not say anything and just not be on the right side of history not use your influence to get it out there thank you for watching and stay safe I don't know what else to say. say. Stay safe and I'm sorry for anyone that has to go through that kind of thing every day. I really am. It literally makes me all of us into tears. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Bye.